Now all new at 530, it sank over 150 years ago off the coast of North Carolina, but its name is surely not forgotten. The Civil War battleship USS Monitor roamed the waters of Virginia, and now its turret sits at the Mariner's Museum. Today, we were invited in to witness 3D imaging of the turret. Ten of your sides, photojournalist Walter Hildebrandt has the story. The Mariner's Museum reached out to us with this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to go in and scan the, uh, the actual turret from the USS Monitor. It sank off the coast of North Carolina over 150 years ago. It's been submerged in a tank at the Mariner's Museum for the last 14. As it stands, the turret is upside down and engineers from Automated Precision are taking 3D images to see the monitor in a whole new way. The technology they have now gives us abilities that we didn't have 10 years ago. These scanners, they take hundreds of thousands of points a second. One of the things that we're hoping API can do is laser scan this so that we can record data like this cannonball dent and we can look at it, measure it, um, do research on it. Hannah Fleming with the USS Monitor Center can tell you a lot about the turret. She's hoping this technology will tell more. So with imaging like this, we'll be able to actually see all of the dings, all of the dents, all of the imperfections in the surface. Um, and we'll be able to study those. So they can go in and, and take a measurement and say, all right, well, this dent is six inches deep, so we know how big the cannonball was just from that. So then they could figure out what ship fired that cannonball. This is just one of the scans that we've done so far on the inside. So you can see it's it picked up the walls and the uh, those cross cross members on the floor really densely. With this technology, the hope here is discover answers to the brief life of this historic warship. At the Mariner's Museum in Newport News, Walter Hildebrand, 10 on your side. The Monitor Foundation will be processing this data collected over the next year, and the tank the turret sits in will be refilled next Thursday. You can take a look for yourself at the Mariner's Museum in Newport News.